Goes back in session, you settled in a little bit. What's the vibe, what's the atmosphere like amongst the student athletes, amongst the coaching staff heading into week one? Yeah, I um, feel like we've had a great uh, last week of practice. Kind of odd, you go into kind of the weekend, uh, we had a, had an off day and I think sometimes in an off day you come back and you just get out of your routine and I think you know you, you, you need the rest you need to be able to recover and yet you got to come back and got to be able to play fast practice fast again and um, you know guys just need to get into that routine in that mode I think we talked about it as a staff and there's a few different factors that play into um, you know just going into week one you've got school starting you've got a whole new routine uh, we're not in camp mode anymore you shift from morning practices to afternoon practices um, you got the pressure just inherently of week one and 18 to 23 year olds trying to manage emotions of the excitement and the anxiety and um, you know our job as coaches is to just make sure we keep them calm keep them confident keep them poised and uh, we've been talking about that as a team so uh, a lot of excitement a lot of buzz and yet uh, of course week one always comes along with a you know it's the biggest game of the year because we haven't played in a year and so um, you know we just got to control that emotion and make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do to execute you talked about the guys a little bit. Uh, what are you seeing from them coming from summer and now into preseason in the season in terms of their fitness and preparedness for this upcoming season? Yep. Um, I don't think we were in extremely great shape uh, when we first showed up to camp as a full team. Now I think, you know, probably half the guys, 65% of the guys were really good, and yet I think some of them were in for a rude awakening and. Um, I think from week one to week two to week three and now, you know, getting into game week, we're the best we've been in and I really like where our team's at. I think we've learned how to practice. Um, we, we fly around at practice, we get a lot of reps and it's a very intense atmosphere and um, we try to just make sure that guys can handle that. and. Um, you know, we, we, we will condition when it calls for it. Uh, we've got a plan to just make sure that we're sharp with that. But a lot of it is the way we practice gets us into natural football playing condition. And so uh, we're hoping that that can pay off for us. Coach, you open on the road and, and that's an entirely different thing than opening at home. What difficulties, if, they, if there are any that you see or things that you're going to have to make sure your guys know going into that game? I think naturally you're into a, a, a different environment um, you, you're you're in a different uh, comfort zone right I mean we've been out on the outdoor superior fields here for you know the last three weeks and that's just looking at the lake that's just what we've known you know looking at the evergreens that's what we've known and so you got to be able to take your operation and now go into a stadium where uh, black and maroon and you know gold are gonna be what you're seeing now right and the, the, the colors of a different opponent right and we talk about that as a team you know you cannot adjust your mentality and what we've trained and what we've done just because an opponent wears a different color jersey and just because there are fans in the stands and you know which it's gonna be a great game day atmosphere and environment I think um, and we should relish that we should be able to be inspired by that uh, but we've got to just stay true to who we are and make sure that we remember uh, everything that we've trained up to this point and everything that we stand for and just make sure that we play that way talk to me a little bit about your upcoming opponent what do you see from them what are you mm -hmm. preparing for I think it's always tough first game um, you don't necessarily have recent game film to watch per se, right? You know a little bit about what they've done from last year. Um, you know, it's it's just a guessing game a little bit and I think that's why it's so important to stay true to who you are and do what you do well and master what you're supposed to do. I think the team that makes the fewest mistakes in the first game and doesn't beat themselves is usually the one that has a chance to win. And um, I think, you know, if we can just believe in what we do in all three phases of the game and um, make sure we perform it with great fundamentals, uh, we're going to be right there. We're, we're going to compete and we're going to bring energy and we're going to be able to at least uh, feel good about what we're going to be able to do on Thursday night.